Operative Assignment Bioactive Materials in Dentistry Operative Assignment Why use bioactive materials in this century? Materials that remineralize glass ionomer cement skyomers materials that can regenerate live tissue materials that deposit hydroxyapatite resin modified calcium silicates calcium silicates as endodontic sealers bioactivity in restorative dentistry. Materials that remineralize glass ionomer cements glass ionomers have a true chemical bond with dental tissue. They encourage remineralization of the surrounding tooth structure and prevent bacterial microleakage through ion exchange adhesion with both enamel and dentin. A new, ion enriched layer is created at the tooth glass ionomer interface. This layer contains phosphate and calcium ions from the dental tissues, and calcium, or strontium, phosphate and aluminum from the glass ionomer cement. The remineralization process creates a harder dentin surface. Examples of glass ionomers, Riva Self Cure, SDI, and Equia Forte, GC. These are bioactive materials that remineralize. Two product lines in this category are Activa Bio ACTIVE Restorative, Pulp Dent is a bioactive restorative material that remineralizes. The Beautiful Gyamer family of restorative materials including Beautiful 2 and Beautiful Flow Plus, Shofu Dental, are bioactive restorative materials that remineralize. Gyomers represent the hybridization of glass ionomer and composite resin properties, the fluoride release and recharge of glass ionomers and the aesthetics, physical properties, and handling of composite resins. The Gyomer concept in based on PRG, pre-reacted glass, technology, a glass core, surrounded by a glass ionomer phase enclosed within a polyacid matrix. Studies show dentin remineralization occurs at the preparation surface adjacent to the gyomer. Materials that remineralize gyomers. Some bioactive materials not only remineralize by adding minerals to tooth structure but also create an appetite like material on their surfaces when immersed in body fluid or simulated body fluid, SBF, over time. There are two chemical classes of these bioactive restorative materials, calcium silicates and calcium aluminates. These materials are non-resin based. Both materials set with an acid-base reaction, and produce an alkaline pH after setting. High pH levels, 7.5 or higher, appear to stimulate more active and complete bioactivity. Materials that deposit hydroxyapatite ceramir, Daza Dental. Ceramir, Daza Dental, is a bioactive cement that remineralizes and deposits hydroxyapatite. Ceramir, Daza Dental, is a calcium aluminate material developed for cementation. An in vitro study found that this appetite forming bioactive cement can occlude artificial marginal gaps. This is beneficial clinically at the margin of the prepared tooth and cemented restoration. It suggests that bioactive dental materials may significantly improve clinical outcomes and longevity of dental restorations. Calcium silicates have also been shown to deposit hydroxyapatite. Even more importantly, they can stimulate the regeneration of live tissue, dentin, pulp, blood vessels, and bone. Materials that can regenerate live tissue Some bioactive materials not only remineralize and form hydroxyapatite but also regenerate live tissue. This is crucial in many restorative as well as pulp-related treatments. 
One major example is vital pulp therapy where the treatment must maintain pulp vitality and function and restore dentin continuity below the injury through hard tissue bridge formation. 1. Calcium hydroxide 2. Mineral trioxide aggregate, MTA, 3. Biodentine. How to use MTA? Explain the figure. Complete treatment sequence of MTA direct pulp capping of asymptomatic 3.7 in a 36 years old woman. A. Preoperative radiograph showing the deep caries. B. Preoperative image. C. Deep caries. D. Pulpal exposure. E. Copious bleeding. F. Placement of sodium hypochlorite 5% pellet to stop bleeding. G. End of the bleeding. H. Placement of gray MTA in a thickness of 2 mm. I. Placement of moistened cotton pellet. J. Temporary filling. K. Postoperative Rx. L. Hardening control after one week. M. Adhesive procedures. N. Adhesive procedures. O. Composite buildup. P. Composite on lye. Q. Composite on lye cementation. R. Post restorative image. S. Radiographic control one year. T. Radiographic control five years. U. Radiographic control 10 years. Reference. Biodentine Biodentine can be used as a complete dentin replacement material to treat damaged dentin both in the crown and the root with clinical indications that exceed those of MTA and other related Portland cement calcium silicate products. Materials that deposit hydroxyapatite calcium silicates are well suited to endodontic obturation due to the following properties, high pH, antibacterial, hydrophilic, use moisture present in dentinal tubules to initiate set, biocompatible do not shrink or resorb excellent seal, bond chemically and mechanically to dentin, ease of use, can be used with many methods of condensation, and they are bioactive, remineralize hard tissue deposit ha to improve the seal over time. Regenerate and heal surrounding periapical tissue. The introduction of bioactive endodontic sealers has changed the concept of obturated seal from hermetic sealing with inert materials to biological bonding with bioactivity. The sealer becomes a filler, not only a sealer. Bioroot, Septodont, is a bioactive endodontic sealer that remineralizes, deposits hydroxyapatite, and regenerates live tissue.